Yo, what's going on, everybody? Riot's here, standing in front of four epic aliens. Nope, scratch that. This one's from, like, the bottom of the ocean, and this one's from, like, the upside down. But I don't care, really, because they all kind of resemble aliens a little, uh, a little. A little. This one is undocumented, therefore he's still an alien. This video is going to be nuts. Or it's going to be really stupid. There's no way to know. It's Gmod. It's always nonsense. But leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more. And yeah, let's, let's go ahead and find out which of these turds is the dominant species. We have the freaking clover field parasite these little turds flooding the subway eating soldiers and exploding that one chick from the movie who's actually pretty hot xenomorphs should need no introduction if you don't know what xenomorphs are the best part of you roll down your mama's butt crack over here we have the demigorgon which just generally terrorizes kids and fails to kill groups of them i don't know personally if there was a group of kids i was hunting i'm pretty sure i'd kill them but the demigorgon still looks scary as hell while it fails to do such a thing i guess one of the kids has superpowers though that's T total rickrollage. He never stood a chance. Over here, we have honestly the most epic one, at least in my opinion, but it's the freaking Starship Troopers insect bug. You know, the only good bug is a dead bug. Johnny Rico and all that epic stuff. I have no idea who I'm gonna pick to be the winner. Oh my god! That little dude just took off. The Debbie Gorgon goes into the upside down. Xenomorph is still slashing at the upside down. That little dude. The freaking Cloverfield Parasite has absolutely no idea what's going on in life. I think his movement speeds are too great for him to keep up with anything. Oh no! I mean, okay. This is good so far. Debbie Gorgon better freaking lose this. I guess he's got like... He's got unbelievable amounts of super strength and everything. He's kind of bulletproof whereas this guy isn't. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I kind of figured now that I think about it, he was going to win. There he goes. Crawl, crawl back into your butthole, dude. All right, Donald Trump, how well do you hold off against the freaking Starship Troopers invasion? He's doing pretty goddamn good, to be honest. Some of these models are just derpy. He's, he's doing pretty... How stupid are why, why, does, why does this even exist? Yeah, obviously. Obviously, this is why it exists. This is amazing. Oh my god, see that be screwed. God damn, this would be incredible. I mean, like, I'm not uh, disclaiming who I'm voting for. This isn't supposed to be political at all. This is purely just the president of the United States taking on a freaking insect horde. He's doing damn good, too. I don't know if Obama would be doing better or worse in this situation. I just know that he's he's making me proud, damn it. All right, you may love him. You may hate his guts. You can't freaking deny that he's holding back the insects right now. <laughs> How much health does this guy have? He's like ranting about making his country greater and getting rid of aliens. <laughs> it could not fit in more perfectly. <laughs> Trump is holding it down. I don't really know about you guys, but personally, I've been kind of waiting to see this for a long freaking time. It does suck. We don't have the actual Cloverfield monster just yet. Yet, I have heard numerous mod developers are working on animating such a beast, not to mention the offer forever stands if any animator ever sees my videos and is able to kind of give a freaking Cloverfield model, which we already have available, animations, I will pay you. It will be amazing. It will give the whole internet epic battles. All right, but until then, we have a freaking Spinosaurus first. I mean, these little guys do have some horrifying aspects to them. They're pretty freaking scary in the movie, but like a Spino? Oh, no, no way. Holy shit. Okay, he's fighting back pretty amazing. I like it. Oh, there we go. Finally some free- Oh my god! I thought it was gonna be like some stupid fight where it didn't attack back. It just completely destroyed all of them. I don't know. He's only down to 1,000 health though. That was a freaking close one. A couple more shotgun blasts and this dude would have been dead. It's crazy all the different variations they have in this. It's like a freaking uh, Anunnaki Genesis Arc mod. There's like Arctic, Poison, Fire, and Electric. It's beautiful. All against a Bronto. It's the fight I never knew I wanted to see. <gasps> I deleted it. <laughs> I stepped on it with my big fat ass. It's still there. Oh god. All right, it's finally an age-old answer to the question no one's ever asked me. Who would win, a T-Rex or a bunch of Starship Troopers bugs? I feel like in real life, the, the insects, and even this amount would win for sure. Like, they would freaking mangle and stab so viciously. Crawl all over it, too. No, f Yeah, that, that was always gonna lose. These things are insanely vicious. That poor T- he did kill, like, three of them, though. That's something. What about an Anki? Honestly, an Anki would hold freaking tight. They would have to just stab at its belly a bunch, because I don't even think their claws could pierce, like, the upside of that shell. It's way too freaking thick. 
And it could just kind of spin like a trail. Yeah, honestly, that is exactly how I would imagine that fight would have gone down. That's trippy right there. I wouldn't expect this to be realistic at all. Dude, this is such a trip because this dinosaur is so freaking huge. We could just spawn these things all around the bottom of it. I actually don't know if its health matches its colossal gargantuan size. But either the way, like a sauropod with this size with this many xenomorphs crawling all around its feet. That would be an insane outcome. How would they even... Again, they would crawl all up and down the legs. It would be impossible to get these suckers off. They'd be like, oh, that's disappointing. They don't even attack each other. Who What? Oh, wow, you have just given a grown man a very bad heartbreak, sir. All right, let's see how the big mama feels about this sort of thing. Why do they all get along so well? You're all like TV's biggest assholes. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, kind of just one shot at them all. This, this is super disappointing. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to focus on freaking getting a good battle in here. And King Dong, dude, I was at 27 years old. King Dong is still the funniest thing. I mean, Gold Fiction, Yacht of the Dead, yeah, yeah, hilarious. King Dong, though, wiener jokes, that's top quality stuff. So now that we're like here, there's so many freaking things I've always wanted to like try out. I've always just wanted to see the outcome in a fight for the most part. Like this, a, a raptor versus a freaking xenomorph. Even though xenomorphs are supposed to be way bigger. They're like six, six and a half feet tall, right? I feel like there's like numerous raptors. But there's like a velociraptor is only like four feet tall. So like Utah way is different. This is like a nova raptor. There's no actual way to know which exact size is correct around here. All right, find it out, ladies. I mean, here, obviously, I don't know. The xenomorph looks so little. It looks like a child. It lost, dude. Yeah, that's that. This, this one's kind of a weenie. I mean, ideologically, no one should be able to handle something like this more than SCP employees, right? Although, I, I don't know. These guys are supposed to be the most freaking, like, trained and professional as far as containing monsters and crazy, unpredictable creatures goes. But they kind of suck. I don't know if they suck at their job or if SCPs are just way too crazy. Because... Those dudes are like secure, contain, and protect. They always break freaking. They, they're never secure, dude. These I don't I I don't know if they suck at their job or SCPs are just insane. Okay, the soldiers outnumber the Cloverfield parasites. There's no freaking. Oh no, these things are strong as hell though. Yeah, they're tossing them around like freaking salad. Jesus Christ, those poor guys. They gotta have the highest mortality rate. I mean, there's definitely some, some like, bloody bugs right here. There's a few casualties on the floor, but ultimately, those things are just kind of undestroyed. I wonder how many soldiers we can get in here. Okay, here, these are some serious soldier numbers right here. Even starting to lose a little bit of frame rate as I spawn them in, so I know... But it's fine, I don't care. A little bit of FPS drop for an epic battle. I don't give a crap. See, that, that's, good, that's a good amount of soldiers right there. Okay, which, oh my god, they can fight anything and it'll be awesome. Okay, I know we all get freaking plenty. I just got- Oh, Jesus! I was gonna say, I know we all get plenty. What? He just froze up. Plenty of the Demigorgon, but I kind of wanted to see what would happen. He's dead. That actually worked out pretty freaking well. He killed a bunch of them, though. Dude, he just kind of one-shotted them all. I guess that was always gonna happen, though. Oh my god, it really brings me back. Why is this group of guys just jumping in a little freaking pile together? They all seem so excited over something. I mean, this is pretty much how this was actu actually supposed to, like, perfectly play out. This one didn't disappoint me at all. These guys T-posing, kind of just G-Modi as hell. But, like, this is how it would go down. A bunch of insects going against a firing squad of soldiers. These things aren't bulletproof. This one's just actually kind of stupid. All right, here's the real te test of <laughs> a freaking, freaking siren head. I mean, yeah, he's just going to eat people one by one. That's what he does. But, like, are they going to shoot the guy? It actually doesn't seem like most of them are even able to target this dude. Now a few of them are, it's just derpy, very derpy. Dude, some of these models look so freaking- Oh, I, I pooped it! Some of these models look so terrifying though. I, I understand this is just but stuff, it's just, I don't know, man. It's, I, I, I'm picturing way too much nudity. Oh my god. What? That was incredible! We still got a survivor. I wonder if that would actually happen. I, I, you gotta wonder if Venom could actually just beat down a bunch of these parasites in real life. If that would, I'm in make believe real life where this kind of stuff exists. That was pretty fantastic. What about against the water beast though? He's doing good. He's not doing anything. Do something, you stupid idiot. I have no idea what Venom's game plan is here. Uh! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, it's so unpredictable with the way some of these are gonna go down. Like, they could be the greatest warrior in the world. And then that happens. Alright, if I'm gonna put money on one of these, I'm gonna put money on- uh, I, I honestly don't know. I feel like this one's smaller and more agile and feistier. This one's bigger and stronger, but in a 1v1, I'm not really sure which one would come out on top. It could be any man's choice. Or any woman's choice. See, this one has like just way more fast attack animations, I feel like. And I feel like it's because they turned up its stats because in the movie it has faster attack animations. Her. I, I don't know. It's hard to know if this is movie authentic because it's so much based off just the way the mod developers made it. I don't know. I have I have no no. You know what? I feel like uh, this one would win a thousand times more. Oh my god, it's eyeballs because it's 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 so freaking huge. A human could necessarily throw one of these, whereas this could throw a human. If you guys disagree, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to dispute it with you. It's important stuff! It's important we as the internet know which one's stronger. The frickin' Cloverfield Parasite or Starship Troopers Arachnid. There's just so many to- wait. Is that the Arachnid? I always just call it the Infantry Insect. I feel misinformed. Either way, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!